I'ma mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks. The only channel that'll tell you exactly where to buy a mask, only for you to ask in the comment section where to buy that mask. And in today's video we are unboxing some special pieces from a company that I personally had never heard of until they hit me up on Instagram. They mentioned that they had recently discovered me as well, and that they enjoyed the content and wanted to know if they could send me a couple of pieces so that I could review them. All I heard was free masks, so naturally I'm in. But in all seriousness, uh, this company did contact me and they said, hey, can we send you some masks? And we got to talking and they were just really fucking nice, like super, super nice people. And I was impressed with not only their little selection there on Instagram, but also with how friendly they were. So I said, hell yeah. Oh, no. Give me a hell yeah. No. Send a package, whatever you guys want to do, and I will gladly unbox those on the channel. So that is what we are going to do today. We've got a big old package. I believe they said that there are three masks in there. They actually gave me a list at one point, but I didn't even look into it because I wanted this to be as genuine of an unboxing as possible. So I honestly have no idea what we're about to get out of here. I remember one of them they said is a clown, so there's definitely a scary clown in there. But we'll go ahead and uh, grab the package and take a look at what we've got. That's what she said. Big, big old box. So I just realized that I never actually said who the package was from. This company is called The Horror Dome, and apparently they have been in business doing these types of masks and props and stuff for 20 years, uh, which is pretty incredible. I mean, that's a long time. I'm only 25, about to be 26, so they've uh, been doing this pretty much my whole life. Real weird that I've never heard of them prior to this. All right, I'm gonna have to lay this box on the ground because it's so big. Oh my God, it's so big. And I just don't have the room and my desk is flimsy. We have definitely seen that in the past. Flashback. Sick. My videos just keep getting better and better because I am such a professional YouTuber. End of flashback. All right, so I see a letter here. We'll go ahead and read this off real quick. It says, hi AJ, within this package are two of our newer masks for 2019 and one of the masks from the last season. We love your videos. Keep up the great work. The team here at The Horror Dome, www.thehorrordome.com, at The Horror Dome on Instagram, The Horror Dome on Facebook. And then we've got some lists here. It says, all of our masks feature large, full, over the head Halloween style masks. One size fits all, hand painted for the movie quality look. So I wouldn't say these are necessarily mass-produced masks. These are like the Death Studio style masks where an artist actually does go in and paint these from start to finish, which is always awesome. Uh, it says we've got Fanged Predator Elite, and then I guess when I pull these out, I'll read the big description of them. Uh, Uncle Fester, and then Clown Spawn. So let's see what one we can pull out first, and uh, then we'll talk about it. Let's talk about it. These are huge. Holy shit. Good Lord. They are, they are very, very large. All right, we'll take this one out of the bag. And uh, real quick, before I do pull this out of there, not to leave the suspense going any longer than I need to, typically I would do individual unboxing videos. Like if I was doing Slipknot mask unboxings and I had multiple masks in one package, I would typically do individual videos on each one. But these aren't the normal type of masks that I review on this channel. I used to do a lot more like independent artists or like non-replica type of things, non-band replicas or non-movie replicas, just freelance stuff. But I haven't done that in quite a while and I'm not really sure how it would do, so I'm I'm going to try to do all these guys justice in one video, see how that goes, and if the response is good and they decide to send me more stuff, I'll do individual videos, but it's kind of just up to how you guys react and the reach and the views and stuff like that. So, we'll see how they do. I just wanted to explain why I'm unboxing them all in one big unboxing video rather than three separate ones. Honestly, I don't have that much information on these pieces anyways. It's kind of easier to do replica videos that are a little longer and a little more informative when you actually have information on that stuff and you can kind of tell a story story or give the history of the mask or what have you and uh, I can't do that with these all I can do is show off how quality they are give my personal opinions on them and then read what's here on the paper so that is that I'm gonna stop talking now let's show off these masks we'll take a look at what we've got in here this thing is fucking huge super super detailed and uh, yeah just insane that is that is fucking wild. It's it's so big. These would be fantastic display pieces if you threw that on like a little like shoulderless bust or whatever and just had that displayed. Yeah, that's that's super super high quality. That's super cool. I'm not even crazy about stuff like this. Like this style of like alien creature. Uh 
But uh, yeah, I gotta give props where props are due, and this thing definitely uh, deserves some props because that's the vein work and shit. Super, super fucking cool. So I'm gonna assume that this is the Fanged Predator Elite, which is the first one on the list, assuming that they lined them up with how I'm taking them out of the box. And it says, set up an unforgettable haunted house with an otherworldly theme, put together a bone-chilling costume, or add to your large collection of macabre merchandise. This brilliantly crafted Fanged Predator Elite Halloween mask fits over your head and rests on your shoulders, Worn with a shirt, it'll appear seamless. Like a grotesque gear from the horror dome, these disturbing masks are made from top quality materials and designed to last. Have a successful hunt in a petrified small town and beam back to the mothership with delicious blood on your lips. Yeah, I'd fucking say so. These things are super quality. I'm not trying to like jerk this company off or whatever just because they sent me free stuff, but uh, it's free stuff that's really good free stuff and I don't know how well you guys can see it. Obviously, I'm gonna give you some close-up shots here at the end of the video, but it is pretty fucking fantastic. I mean, it does exactly what they said it's gonna do. Obviously, it's a quality piece. You can tell that by the craftsmanship, but if you wanted to tuck it into your shirt, it's gonna look like you're not wearing a mask because it goes all the way down. I just think for display purposes, because you guys know that I don't really wear the masks that I get, I just display them. This thing would be awesome for some sort of creature bust. So that is the 2019 Fanged Predator Elite, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this one to the side and see what else we've got. All of these are huge. Like, no wonder the box is so big. All right, so the second one we've got here, another large piece, maybe a little smaller than the last one. I'm gonna assume, because this doesn't look like a clown, that this is Uncle Fester, and this one is fucking creepy. I'm gonna pull it out of there and take a look at what we've got. Yeah, just a real fucking scary like creepy pasta of a mask right there. This one says your new favorite uncle is here to terrorize the town. Uncle Fester is a full over the head mask with gruesome details only a demented mother would love. A perfect partner for our Aunt Helen mask. Fester is sure to be a hit at your next Halloween party. Yeah, this one's creepy as fuck and once again it's just as detailed. There is a bunch of vein work. I don't know why I love vein work so much but you can paint veins. I seriously give you props because uh, I really like the look that veins give to a mask. It's a texture without having to to add a physical texture to the mask, and I'm really impressed with that, so. Super, super cool, I love his eyes. Just a creepy little bastard right there. Not really little, because obviously these things are huge. I'm gonna have to throw one on at the end of the video and just see what it looks like on my little teeny tiny body. So, 2019 Uncle Fester, and now we have one more in the package to take a look at, and that is going to be the Clown Spawn. That's the one that I remember them talking about when they were uh, hitting me up. All right, so here we have it, another massive mask, and this is like two masks in one, if you think about it. Go ahead and pull this off, take a look at what we've got. We have a literal clown spawn. There is something spawning out of the clown. The clown looks like it was a normal clown at one time. No fangs, so props for that. Just a fucking brutal looking mask, man. This isn't my style. I have a feeling that my dad is going to flip his lid when he sees this, because he likes stuff like this. So let's go ahead and read about the clown spawn. This is the older mask from last uh, last Halloween season. It says the clown spawn mask is a striking horror dome original. This one of a kind design features a petrified clown with an evil creature attempting to slide out of his mouth. To the right. Classic white skin and clown makeup give this hapless fellow a realistic look and the menacing eyes of the materializing parasite will send shivers down the spine of all those who cross his path. Great character for any haunted big top or cursed circus scene, this over the head mask offers Hollywood quality looks. Add a new character to your production, terrorize the neighborhood on Halloween, or get many a conversation started at the next costume party with this infected clown mask. Your colorphobia friends will absolutely despise this creation. Yeah, I agree. I think that people that hate clowns are really not going to fucking like this one so if uh if you got some 12 year old girls to scare this would be the piece to do it once again massive just super fucking large and uh these these hand painted pieces really do give like the effect of just a notch up from a mass produced company like trick or treat studios or something like it's able to go the extra mile and uh, it's not too far off from something like that so yeah the horror dome killing it these masks are giant i am uh, actually genuinely impressed which is uh very cool because like i said i don't review masks like this often i don't go out of my way to get stuff like this like i'm really the replica guy so it's nice and refreshing to receive something like this and be impressed by it so I'm gonna go ahead and set these guys up. I'll give you guys some nice individual shots. We'll put them together, give you shots like that. And I'm gonna try to throw one on and see how they fit little teeny tiny AJ. So massive shout out to the Horror Dome. I appreciate you guys sending this stuff over. It's uh, definitely going to have a good home here at the House of Masks. Thank you very, very much for that. And for just being nice. You guys were really fucking nice. I think I talked to two different people and uh, both of them were incredibly nice to me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope all my viewers enjoyed the video as well. If you guys would like to hit up the Horror Dome, I'm gonna add all the information down below, all the links, all that good stuff. What? 
you guys would like to hit up the Horror Dome, I'm gonna add all the information down below, all the links, all that good stuff. What? If you guys would like to hit up the Horror Dome, I'm gonna add all the information down below, all the links, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna say all, like four more times. All, 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 all. But yeah, that is going to just about do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching, and until next time, we will see you later.